Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to integrate Trello with Microsoft To Do. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Microsoft To Do, I need you to click the Create Account option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Integrating Trello with the Microsoft To Do can significantly enhance your productivity and task management by leveraging the strengths of both tools. Now, if you are already here on the Trello platform, I need you to go to the option here where you can find the power ups. Click that and let's look for the Microsoft To Do. So there's a lot that you can choose from here. Let's see if we can have a, uh, if there is Microsoft to do here. Now, as you can see, as of the moment, there is no Microsoft to do in the Trello platform. All right, but don't worry because we got you. The next step that we are going to explore, if it's not available here, is go to the Microsoft Power Automate. Now, for those who are new here, Microsoft Power Automate, or formerly known as Flow, is another powerful tool to create automated workflows between Trello and Microsoft To Do. All right, so once you are logged in with your Microsoft account, I need you to click on the Create Plus button here to create a flow to automate and a repetitive business task end-to-end, -end. okay? Click on it. And then um, we're going to choose the automated flow or instant flow, depending on your preferences. But for now, I'm going to use the automated cloud flow. All right, triggered by a designated event. Click that. Now, on the flow name, uh, right now, I'm going to maybe trigger, I'll name this as Integrating Trello with Microsoft Ado. And then after that, all I'm going to do is choose the trigger, okay? Now let's check if Trello is available here. There you go. Okay, so now here, for example, when a card is added to the list, Trello, or when a card is added to a list, to a board, so it's all up to you depending on your preferences, all right? Now in my case, I'm going to choose the first one as a training example. I want to... Click on create, okay? And then the next step is you need to sign in to create a connection to Trello. We're going to do that right now. After that, you would be forwarded with a uh, pop-up window where you just log in so that you can authenticate these apps. Now, the next step is we need to add an action after signing into the Trello. For example, the board ID is going to be something like you need to enter the uh, unique ID of the board, for example, this one and the list ID as well. All right, after that, click on next step and just follow the on screen instructions, and you would be able to integrate Trello with Microsoft to do using Power Automate. All right, now you need to switch over to your Microsoft to do. We want to make sure that it's been successful. All right, you see, there's a lot of options that you can work with with my to do. You see, there's an option here where you can put in the add a task right for example this one right here now after doing so the next option that we are going to explore is using zapier you can connect microsoft to do to trello and automate your work and have all these possibilities all i'm gonna do is click the orange button to connect these apps and from here, all we're going to do is like the Microsoft Power Automate, we need to select the event from Microsoft to do. And for that, we need to choose an event. For example, it triggers when a task is completed or it triggers when a new list is created. So it, it, uh, it's up to you on your preferences or your goals. But in my case, I'm going to be choosing the first one as a default. Now on the second event is going to be for Trello. 
and of course you can choose an event for example it adds one or more attachments to a specific card or maybe adds an existing label to a specific card all right in this case i'm going to be choosing the third one after that all they're going to do is click on continue just authenticate in these apps so you can sit back relax and let zapier will do all the work for you of course we can rename that to trello and click on save all right now the last platform that we are going to explore is from make because here i've been using uh this platform in the past we can easily connect microsoft to and trello because all we're gonna do is the same with the other platforms you can simply click on the trigger for example uh, it triggers when a new task is created or modified and of course go to the action because from here you can add a label to a card you can add a member to a card and add this attachment so the thing with make is there's no credit card required no time limit on free plan you can even swap apps for example you want to do the reverse thing you can all you can do all that here in make all they're gonna do is log in and get started for free now as you can see it's a very straightforward process right now all i'm gonna do is click on the create new scenario from template just wait for it to load we can rename this uh something like how to integrate trailer with microsoft so you have all of this trello watch cards and of course microsoft Ado, and create a task all right you can simply click on the run your scenario click run once to test it and then schedule your scenario which is set it to run automatically click on the button right here the play button the purple one you see right here the scenario was finalized and all i'm gonna do is schedule that by sliding off this option on now you can schedule these settings every 15 minutes or maybe you can add a regular intervals like once every day days of the week or on demand you can also have choose the uh from 15 to 20 it's all up to you it's very easy and once you click that, you would be able to integrate both of these platforms without any problems. And of course, you can streamline your task management processes, ensuring that your tasks from Trello are always visible and manageable to within Microsoft to do. Okay. If you are already using Microsoft 365 tools like Outlook, Teams, or Planner, integrating Trello with Microsoft Ado can create a more cohesive workflow across the microsoft ecosystem which i believe th that you can track the progress of any trello tasks within the microsoft to do providing a clear view of what's been completed and what is still pending thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video